Good day everybody, Darren Yaki with Echo Y Farms. We're all spreading some fertilizer today. We got our buggy behind us. Get some fertilizer on some of our bean ground. Wait for the fertilizer truck, so kind of get bored looking for something to do. So I thought I'd show you guys on how our GPS system works in our track. How we go about programming it in to set up a field and then do our interior lines. Because when we are spreading fertilizer, we want to make sure we are not overlapping. We're getting the right amount of product on that acre. We don't want to be wasting money or over fertilizing fields. So that's why we use our GPS. So here is our screen in our New Holland tractor. A few buttons along the bottom. So first we go to run three we hit the field button down here in the bottom oh, there we go then you have your options you make a straight line a heading circle curve spiral field or multi so I want to show you how we create a field so I click on the field button and then I'm in the position in the field where I want to start so I hit the start button. So now it comes up, pause or stop. So what we'll do now is we will put the tractor into gear, push our CVT lever ahead. Got the tractor set so we go about nine miles an hour. Apparently eight is fast enough I feel like kind of rough out in this field. So we're going to make a square kind of out in this what was cornfield. Just to kind of show you how this works. So obviously in a normal situation we'd be planting right now or spreading fertilizer or whatever you may have it. We can see the line on the map. Right now we're kind of going across the corner row, so it's a little rougher than normal. We'll get squared up again. Follow them corn rows. See the line there? If I'm planting or fertilizing, as you can see I have my implement engaged now. It's a green box on there. So I won't engage that because I do have a little fertilizer in the buggy. In another corner. Sorry for the roughness of the video. Like I say, this field I'm kind of just cutting across rows and stuff. It's not the levelest of going out here. This is a farm we just acquired. This is our first year that we are operating this farm. So we completed a swath. We completely went in a square. Do you want to change the swath? Yes, I do. Hit the yes button. There. Now you can see that we made a circle or a square out in the field. And we can choose what line we want to follow with our interior. Normally it picks the straightest line. And you can pick it up here. You can have a straight curve or what was recorded. So we want to stay straight. We like our row as straight as we can. So I'll X back out of there. And I like that A to B line. I can always move that by clicking over there. Go up here and click the A or move that B. So it's on B, so we'll put it back to where it was over here. So now that'll just make a straight line there. So I hit accept it. And now since I have the headlands done, my one round with the fertilizer, normally put three on with uh, um, the planter. I'm going to go to the field that we created, go to manage swath, and I'm going to change it right to the interior mode since we already have the heading on there already. So we should be on the interior mode. We got to get to the end of the field now where we can start planting or spreading or whatever you may be doing. 
beautiful April day. I can't believe how gorgeous it is out. Absolutely beautiful. We're up here between Loganville and Raysburg, Wisconsin right now. At Highway 23 right over there. So now that we got to the end of the field, you can see the blue and the red line. So, now I want to get that red line's line I'm going towards. That's what I want to do. So I want to hit my auto steer button. And that glare on that lens is hard to see, but there. Now we're driving right down that path that we created. Again, sorry for the rough content here. We're in a tractor that has suspended front axle and a suspended cab, and I feel like sometimes you bounce around in them more than you do in a tractor that don't. Then you get to the end of the field, which we are right now. We'll turn to the right. Find that next line. Oh. That steering wheel is moving on me. There, I clicked it. I got the auto steer engaged. Now I'm creating another perfectly straight line. Say so I'm going kitty corner of the corn rolls. That's how we have the field set up on the GPS. And then once we got that done, we go to the big map, I guess, and then we can see a little better. Like you say, you'll see this green. That means we're applying, planting, or whatever you may have it out of the field. Now we're at the end of the field, I gotta turn around again. But that's all I'm gonna show you guys for now. Thanks a lot for following along with us on that venture. Hopefully it doesn't turn out too jumpy, but fertilizer is on the way now I see, so I gotta get back to real work again. So thanks a lot, you guys have a great, wonderful day.